We're the underdogs. It's quite simple. It's been a long drought. It's been elusive for us. We've won once. The US has dominated the President's Cup. American team is extremely strong. They always have been, they always will be. Victorious US President's Cup team, another President's Cup. There's been a lot of frustrations. It's been very hard for us to put it all together. To an extent, there's a target on the back. Winning that many times kind of speaks for itself. The U.S. has an amazing track record. History tells us that the United States team should be the antagonist. You have the rest of the world. You get a lot of people that root against us. It's easy to root against dynasties. We love that. That's what kind of fuels us. The U.S. has won so many times, but Australia was pretty scary. The international team came blazing. Making it interesting down the stretch here. It was a different feeling in Melbourne. That was such a huge moment in time for our team. 19 showed how competitive it's going to be, and I don't see it getting any easier. Our team's going to have to be on guard. Definitely don't want to be the ones breaking a winning streak, for sure. Winning this will be huge. There's more belief that we will. They want to beat us so bad, but trust me, we want to beat them as bad as they want to beat us. For the United States. The United States. For the United States. Our mentality is to throw out anything from the past. We're more motivated than ever to try and dominate this year's President's Cup. For the Shield. This year. For the Shield. Our team is determined, and we'd like to shake it up and get a win on the board. I'm going to try to pull all my energy to be the American. We're back on our home soil here in the US. When we were in the US, you never wanted to give it up to the other team. It'd be a historic moment to be able to win the President's Cup for the international team. The guys are going to come out firing and not take anything for granted. We're looking to keep that President's Cup in the U.S. For the Cup. For the Cup. For the Cup. For the Cup. We can't wait for the challenge. This is the Road to the President's Cup, brought to you by the Global Partners, City, Cognizant, and Rolex. Anytime you have the opportunity to represent your country, it means a lot. This guy's been money, absolute money for the American side. Being able to put on the red, white, and blue in general is a special thing, but doing it and getting to do what I love in terms of play golf doesn't get any better. With seven points earned in two playings, Justin Thomas has quickly become a main threat for the U.S. with a mental tenacity that has set him apart. He's been Mr. Clutch. Add another one. Add another one. It's so much fun watching JT go through his process out here. This guy plays with so much intensity. He is all business out here when he's over the ball. <laughs> More magic. JT is one of the most talented guys that we have. Everybody loves him. And he's got that little fire personality that, the, that you want. Well, in team events, you want players that are willing to take the last shot or make the last putt. And Justin Thomas is the guy that he relishes those moments. If he's in a bunker coming down the stretch, he's thinking about hauling it. How about that emotion? When there's a putt to be made on the last hole, he's the guy that wants to make it. And then is ready to celebrate it because he knows it's going in. He's I've been practicing all year for the FedEx Cup playoffs and for the President's Cup. It's just trying to maintain a high level of golf and, and just try to get 1% better each day. And then by the time we get there, hopefully we're ready to go. And he's done it. A win for the US, three and two. Thomas brings the momentum of his second major championship last season. And while he hopes to capture more points for the US, it'll be tough to trump one signature moment. This is so huge, and it feels like you're putting to win a golf tournament if you're Justin Thomas right now. This to add a full point for the United States. Yep, that's a drop the putt moment for Justin Thomas and Tiger Woods. It was a very surreal moment and to be able to make that putt and just kind of go unconscious and celebrate was really, really cool. 
the Wii Rose are screaming, and it was a phenomenal moment, and I'm glad we were able to experience it together. What a putt. Oh, my goodness. When it's mano a mano or, or the team versus the team, I have to do whatever is possible to beat that person. Sometimes you have to dig deep, but whatever it takes to get your team a point, you got to do it. Justin Thomas took home the 2017 PGA Championship at Quail Hollow. I'm going to be able to use the good memories that I have in the past at Quail and just kind of play the course for what it is. While Max Homa captured the 2019 Wells Fargo Championship. Whenever you go back to a place where you won, the good memories flood your mind a bit. How fantastic. Great place to start your winning career. Getting to do it on a very large golf course, a very difficult golf course. I'm very proud that was my first one. I hadn't ever really been in that position before. I definitely gained a, a bunch of confidence in myself. Homa has come a long way since his first PGA Tour victory at Quail Hollow, which stands out as a true turning point in his career, as he had recorded just three top tens in 67 starts on tour as a pro, entering the 2019 Wells Fargo Championship. But in 83 events since, he has 15 top tens and four victories, including two last season. A champion on the rise. That trophy, I guess, is symbolic of a lot of hard work and not just a, a good week. That comes from a lot of other things that I think we all value a lot. Just the practice, the grind, both mental and physical. So it's just one of those surreal feelings when you get to get one of them. Homa now sits on the precipice of yet another career first at Quail Hollow as he prepares to make his U.S. President's Cup team debut. That's pretty much all I have been thinking about this season. It's been a really good motivating factor. I think I had a chance at that Ryder Cup, and I just remember looking in that mirror knowing I wasn't going to make that team, and it was a pretty, pretty bad feeling. Homa's strong play this season made him a worthy candidate, but the 31-year-old wasn't taking any chances. So he put in some extra work on social media to help seal the deal and become one of Davis Love III's captain's picks. He texted me after he saw my tweet about uh, saying I would be him for a day and then use that power to pick myself for the President's Cup team. He's poked some fun at me about picking him, but uh, he's obviously another guy that's passionate about the President's Cup, and he'll be a great guy in the team room. That fun-loving, funny guy that, that'll always um, lift up a team is who we want. We want guys that really want to play and really want to be a part of a team and are passionate about it. It would be amazing uh, to be part of a winning team with the President's Cup. You know, I'm 31, man. I thought I'd be doing this when I was like 24, 25. So having that kind of extra weight has made me appreciate it even more. I bring a lot of fight to the team. And with that comes a little bit of extra passion and push to help the United States team win. I'm going to draw on just the great memories I have there. Just being able to like draw off of that and just the general joy I have going there, knowing that that was kind of the first stepping stone to the President's Cup, I feel quite good there. There was a different feeling in Melbourne. And the culture of our team has just continued to grow and to have another crack at the Americans. It's definitely a goal that I've marked down. Over the years, I've given a lot to the President's Cup teams. Yes. There's Adam Scott. Another point for the internationals. There's been a lot of frustrations. They have now gone eight consecutive matches without a win. It's been very hard for us to put it all together. A win for the US. The United States has lost this competition just once. It's a very different experience for us. And at times, you know, I think it's been tough as internationals. This year will mark Adam Scott's 10th career President's Cup, setting a new record for appearances by an international player. I guess I'm the old guy on, on the team every year, and uh, I remember from years gone past 
I really looked up to the elder statesman. Scott is second only to Ernie Els in international team history with 16 match victories at the President's Cup, winning his first alongside Els in 2003. Clutch delivery by Adam Scott. Youngest player in the competition at 23. Which is the closest Scott has ever come to claiming the cup. The United States and international teams agree to share the cup. His most recent chance was in 2019 at Royal Melbourne, as the Aussie went 2-2-1 in front of the home crowd to help the internationals take a two-point lead into Sunday's singles. Puts a charge in this Aussie crowd, and what a big putt and win. Before coming up just short in a 16-14 defeat. Matt Kutcher has won another President's Cup for the United States. It was really a great week. Thinking back over all the weeks in my career, that one's definitely a highlight, even though we didn't get over the line in the end. But I was very proud of being Australian and what our team did. Much different story than two years ago, but in the end, the same result. It was a huge turnaround from where we were in New York, which was really a difficult and disappointing cup. This American team is on a roll. The history of the event has started to add up, and it's obviously been very lopsided. While the American dominance went into overload in 2017, just the second match the internationals have won all week. Both 2015 and 2019 saw the international team ahead or tied on the competition's final day. Wow! What a turnaround there. The international team is knocking on the door. I really believe we're on the right path now, and I'm optimistic. There's been a whole bunch of kids from all around the world wanting to play on the international team. It is going to be a real emotional boost for the international team. This really was a new vibe, and, and we came so close, and I think We've got some good momentum heading into this next President's Cup. Something about it, it just means more. Be able to have a teammate, be able to feel like you're playing for someone else. You can really feed off each other. You have the opportunity to just get more amped up. Then just kind of enjoy the moment. It's just two sides against each other. And so I think that brings out the raw emotion in guys a little bit more. Everything's different, and it's different in such a fun way. My President's Cup experiences have been so much fun all over the world, Korea to New York and up in Ohio at my first one. You can see he is pumped. This is just not a walk in the park, I can tell you that for him. Speeth is turning into Jordan Speeth again. Now Speeth is the present day leader and into the future for American sides. Making a President's Cup team is the ultimate goal for me. It solidifies that you played well and they're the most fun weeks of the year. Representing your country is what it's all about. Spieth has been a staple for Team USA, but missed the 2019 playing at Royal Melbourne after a turbulent two years on tour, which saw him post just nine top tens in 46 events. That's and it. And Matt Kutcher has won another President's Cup for the United States. I had a hard time. I mean, I remember turning it on and just being like, I don't know if I can continue to watch this. I feel like I should be there. It fueled me. I mean, it, it frustrated me because those were all teammates of mine, and I wasn't there. It was tough, and I hope it never happens again. Determined not to miss another team event, Spieth carded 12 top tens and two runner-ups his next two seasons, which included breaking a four-year drought. And in the state of Texas, Jordan Spieth has done it. This turn of events propelled the Texan onto the 2021 Ryder Cup team, where he once again showed his metal and deft touch. 
Careful. Watch out. We might lose him. I've always loved team sports, so to be able to have a teammate, be able to feel like you're playing for someone else, you just kind of, you ride the momentum a little bit easier. Jordan Spieth missing the team in 2019, I think has really motivated him. He loves being a part of the competition. He partners well with anybody on the team. So uh, we're excited that Jordan's game is on the upswing. Jordan Spieth is a winner. This is as sweet as it gets. I never want to miss it again, and it was a huge goal of mine to make the 2022 team. Confidence and momentum has been building for one young Korean at a rapid pace. Yet Tom Kim's personal expectations to make the President's Cup team seemed far from reality earlier this year. To get my corn fairy tour card, and that was probably the only goal I had. This past month has been just crazy. Starting from the Scottish Open, finishing third there. It's been an extremely short cut and saved me a couple years of my life. 20 year old nerves coming up here. Yeah, it's fine. Whoa, oh, just barreled that in. The next week, it was apparent Captain Trevor Immelman took notice of Kim's continuing climb up the ranks. The first time I'd have met him at the Open, and just him kind of watching a couple holes or seeing me hitting balls on the range. From that point on, it was all about make, trying to make this team. Along with making the weekend at the 2022 Open Championship, Kim became eligible for special temporary membership on the PGA Tour for the remainder of the season. And I was like, you know what? A few good weeks here. Maybe I can get my tour card right away. And I secured it in Detroit. It was an unbelievable feeling. A 63 today for Kim, and that ties the tournament record. With a seventh place finish at the Rocket Mortgage Classic, Kim locked in his PGA Tour card for the 2022-23 season. But as his hopes of a berth in the FedEx Cup playoffs and President's Cup were on the line, the pressure was on, as the only outlet of doing so was to win the final regular season event. The best way for me to prove myself onto the team was just kind of pulling through, and it doesn't get tougher than winning on the PJ Tour. And I told myself, if you want to make the President's Cup, you've got to do all well this back nine. Tom Kim is the champion at the Wyndham Championship. It was a dream come true, and I think once the season's over, and that's when it'll really hit me. The win vaulted Kim from 14th to 5th in the standings, which automatically qualified him for a spot on the international team. He was born in Seoul, South Korea. Now he's a star in America. I would love to do some big fist bumps at the President's Cup and just bring positive vibes and hopefully we can win for the first time in American soil. This year, the President's Cup's first tee experience will feature a stadium arena unlike anything the event has ever seen before. The finishing touches of the build-out are in the final stages to hold a capacity of up to 2,500 fans who are all responsible for the hype of the opening shots. The festivities will begin with Thursday's presentation of the cup and will fire up each team all the way through the excitement on Sunday. When you're standing on the first tee of a President's Cup, there's so many emotions that are going through your mind. It's always louder than you think, and it just shoots your heart rate up. It's a lot of adrenaline. You just get the energy, especially when you're at home. It's an incredible experience. I've thought about that first tee and, and knees maybe being a little bit like jello. At the same time, I know I can hit a little cut down that fairway. It's unreal. I'm like you're playing a different sport almost. But when you have so few guys playing, it makes crowds very concentrated and you kind of get that arena feeling. I think that's what makes it really, really special. You turn that nervousness into excitement because you draw so much energy from the fans that, you know, you're just ready to go play for your country. You get on the tee box and like, can't feel your arms, can't feel your legs. People are cheering your name and um, all you're doing is just trying to stay committed to your shot and hit a good one, but golly, is it a really cool stage.
It's a stage that has become increasingly familiar to both Scotty Scheffler and Colin Morikawa. They're no strangers to international competition and obviously two of the best players in the world and on the PGA Tour, so they might be President's Cup rookies, but they're not rookies on this team. Scheffler and Morikawa's history as teammates dates back to their winning effort at the 2017 Walker Cup. And those ties were strengthened even further at last year's Ryder Cup, combining for a 5-0-2 record at Whistling Straits on their way to a dominant victory. And it is Morikawa indeed who provides the cup clincher. It's an individual sport, but you represent a team. You're representing your country. There's nothing like it. Everyone puts their best foot forward, and everyone just wanted to win. Scheffler answers the call. Scheffler parlayed his Ryder Cup momentum into a career season on the PGA Tour and emerged as a dominant force. I'm telling you, that Ryder Cup really made a big difference in Scotty Scheffler as a player. It was just good experience being able to win matches, being able to contribute to the team, to be able to get a few points for our squad and be able to win my singles match definitely gave me a good confidence boost going forward. Scotty Scheffler is a tour winner for the first time. The 26-year-old would go on to total four victories in a six-start span. Well, we felt like the floodgates could open for Scotty Scheffler if he got his first win. Just a strong, gutsy finish. The strong season earned him the honor of PGA Tour Player of the Year, and he was also first in qualifying points for Team USA. It's definitely good to be at the top of the standings, but I'm just one of the guys on the team, you know, just like I was last year. I don't want to miss another one of those teams ever again. <laughs> I mean, it was it was so much fun to be able to play an event like that, be able to represent your country, and I've, I've dreamed of playing on these teams for so long. He will do so again alongside Morikawa, whose ball striking makes him a versatile piece for Captain Davis Love III. Wow, would you look at that. Colin hardly ever misses a shot. Those are the kind of guys you like that are always hitting the ball solid and can handle any conditions and under pressure hit quality golf shots. Oh, wow. Are you serious? <laughs> Short game has been on fire. You can't just say, hey, you know, I played well seven months ago. Um, you got to continue to prove that you're a good player to be on that 12 man roster. Good golf just takes care of everything. The international squad is going to be really talented. It should be a fun week and a good challenge for everybody. We're just going to go out there and try and do our best and see what happens. When you make the team, everyone's goal is to win. So when it comes down to the President's Cup on home soil, you never want to give it up to the international team. Quail Hollow, one of the favorite courses on tour. Quail Hollow is going to be unbelievable. It's got so much character and um, it's going to be an amazing venue for the President's Cup. This is one of my favorite golf courses on the PGA Tour. It has a lot of challenges. The course is unbelievable. It's been one of the top courses on the PGA Tour since I've been out here. Definitely has a dramatic feel to it, and there's uh, some really exciting holes. It's going to be a fun match play course. It can play very difficult, and you can rack up some big numbers being aggressive, and you have to be careful. They're going to change the order of some of the holes, so every match should most likely get to the green mile or the traditional 16, 17, 18th holes. They're going to be 13, 14, 15. It could be really cool because there's some spots you could take some chances. It presents a lot of opportunities for birdies, but you really do have to hit some quality shots. It's going to reward good golf. There's no faking it around there. Quail Hollow will also provide the U.S. President's Cup team with a distinct home course edge. USA! 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 Got the fans behind you. There's no question that that energy can help a team and is going to prove true to be a great advantage for our U.S. team at Quail Hollow. It's going to be a really exciting atmosphere that we're all going to enjoy. Hollow's famous Green Mile is the culmination of a strategic rerouting of additional holes to set the stage, as Captain Love delves into another pivotal change early on the back nine. The 14th hole at the Quail Hollow Club will be 11 for the President's Cup. It's a short hole, drivable for most of the players with the right wind conditions. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of birdies and Never know, somebody might make an eagle. Um, but it's gonna be a risk-reward hole in our team. They like their driver, they're probably gonna go for it a lot. 
the stage of the match, the moment, what your opponent does is really gonna dictate how you play the hole. It was great to reroute the course, so these are the critical holes. The meat of the back nine is gonna be right around the lake. Um, hopefully we're finishing our matches and winning them in the green mile. We need five hole locations for the President's Cup, so we'll see a couple of them way in the back and a couple of them in the front, but they'll definitely hug this water and make it tricky for the guys. This is gonna be a really important part of the course. Here at the 15th hole at Quail Hollow, this is generally the 18th hole, but because we've changed the routing for the President's Cup, this now becomes the 15th, so it's gonna be right in the middle of that back nine, which is gonna make it extremely exciting to play this stretch of holes in the match play format. Depending on how firm the course is and where the wind is coming from, you can see anything from a driver to maybe even a driving iron here. And if you've got the honor in match play and you're able to get one in the fairway here, you're gonna put a ton of pressure on your opponent. Distance control and accuracy, just like the tee shot, is a premium here on the approach. Green complex here at 15, tricky, tricky. Players need to be very careful around here, especially if the conditions are firm and fast, which is what we expect for the President's Cup. What an amazing spot. You've got the clubhouse in the background, and then you're gonna have this massive stadium-like atmosphere with just tons of fans sitting around this green. This is gonna be a good spot to be the week of the President's Cup. Bringing them out of their seats. A win for the U.S. It's exciting to be President's Cup captain. We both have great ties to this club, to this state, obviously to this golf tournament and this golf course, so it just couldn't be better, I think, for either one of us. To be chosen by the players to be their leader for an event that is extremely important to us, it hits me deep in my soul. This American team is on a roll. Another President's Cup for the United States. Ernie did a fantastic job down in Australia. For the first time, gave our team an identity and something to try to build off of. And so we're gonna have a lot of work to do playing against the strong American team, but we look forward to that opportunity. I think we're gonna have the ultimate home game. It's gonna be great for the President's Cup. It's gonna be great for golf and great for golf in North Carolina. Well, I'm proud to be the President's Cup captain for 2022, but I was thrilled to play on six teams, to be a part of it as an assistant captain. Davis is gonna be a great captain, not only because he's done it and been there, but he fully understands being an unbelievable player. He's been everywhere in the sport. He's done everything that the sport has to offer and succeeded at every level and at the highest level. Unbelievable. Ryder Cup experience as a captain. He has an amazing track record, and we couldn't be more proud to play for someone like Davis Love. While it's his first time taking the reins in the President's Cup, Love's resume speaks for itself. His two stints as Ryder Cup captain include a victory in 2016, and he's been an assistant captain six times between both events, including last year's victory at Whistling Straits. They came together as a team. We try to help them build a team. They have built it themselves, and they get along great. And it's just great to have that momentum. We just have to give them a chance to succeed at Quail Hollow like they did at Whistling Straits. He's familiar with the core group of the guys being at the Ryder Cup. He was in the rooms talking with us, talking with the pods. He's a familiar face. He's calm. He kind of knows the process. He's been on the winning team. He's competed in them himself. His credentials on the course are just as impressive, going 16, 8, and 4 in six President's Cup appearances, an event he's been a part of since its genesis. Representing the United States of America from Sea Island, Georgia, Davis Love III. Being a part of the President's Cup team has been a thrill of my career. I was very fortunate to watch the President's Cup come to life, to play the first President's Cup. It never crossed my mind back then that I would be a captain. I just wanted to make the team and I wanted to play with Freddie and win some points. Davis Love adds a point to the United States total.
obviously Davis is one of the legends of the game, one of the most talented people that's ever picked up a golf club. Love's Hall of Fame career includes 21 PGA Tour wins, a PGA Championship, and two Players' Championships. And 11 years later, Davis Love has won the Players' Championship again. When you think of Davis Love and you think about his career, you know, you think about his tempo and you think about his demeanor. That's kind of a captain you want. Davis is just really relaxed. Nobody feels like they're stepping on anybody's toes. There's not going to be any surprises with him as captain. He doesn't rush to make decisions. He thinks things through, and ultimately, he'll put out a team that he feels like is best to win the President's Cup. To be the captain in Charlotte, in my home state, I was born in North Carolina, went to school at Chapel Hill. Been very fortunate to win some golf tournaments in North Carolina. Nothing could be finer. The Carolinas are a winning territory for Davis Love, tallying eight victories in the area. That's what you call the nerves of a 23-year-old. To come full circle, I can't think of a better place to be President's Cup captain. It's incredible for me, but I think even more than that, it's going to be incredible for the team. It's going to be emotional for me. Hopefully, we come out tears of happiness in the end. And while Love will rely on his strong roster this year, there's one popular member from his assistant captain campaign in 2013 that won't be available. Jordan Spieth is playing his first match, I think, ever in international competition. And I stopped. This gallery was surrounding this squirrel on the cart path. And so a little bit of a ruckus. So I just jumped off the cart and walked to look. And then he was just sitting there. So I picked him up and drove off with him. It was like I had found a tamed baby squirrel. So he rode around in the cart with me, and unfortunately, I was sitting in my cart, I was on the phone, listening on the radio, and the squirrel was running around my lap, and TV caught it. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, he was famous. And then everybody wanted to play with him, and I didn't know what to do, and I ended up just buying some uh, Pedialyte and some food and keeping him overnight in the room, and then the next morning, he got out of the box and was in the bed with my wife, and she said, hey, your squirrel's watching himself on Good Morning America. <laughs> Zach Johnson, and I think he was playing with Jason Duffner, had finished on the 15th hole. So I got on the green, and I'm helping him get organized, and finally finished his interview, and he comes up, and he smacks me in the leg. He goes, how about that? I go, whoa, 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 be careful. He goes, what? I go, I got a squirrel in my pocket. He said, only Davis Love would have a squirrel in his pocket at the President's Cup. And I said, yeah, well, he's a team mascot. And Nikki Stricker is the one that named him Sammy. And um, I picked up Tiger from the range the next day to take him to the first tee. And he goes, what's in the box? And I go, you know what's in the box. This is where you get that squirrel away from me. And so that was the end of it. Everybody kind of had enough, and he was getting a little too famous, so he had to go back to the wild. After the week in Australia, that Sunday night, we were all massively disappointed that we didn't win the cup. But there was a small part of us that even though that disappointment was really thick and heavy in the team room, there was also like a thread of excitement. So that night already, we had started speaking about the future, the future of our team, how we wanted it to look, build our brand as the international team. Captain Els, Mike Weir, a number of us on the charter, long flight back from Australia to LA. And we continued those conversations. Then a week or two later, Ernie and I had a meeting with uh, the commissioner and we decided what we wanted to do. I can't say, to be honest with you, that this was ever really on my radar. I just thoroughly enjoyed being a tiny little part of the team down in Australia. The teams that I made when I was playing was some of the things that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And so to now have the opportunity to be captain, for me, I think it's probably the highlight of my career. I think the main thing that I really want to build on and something that we're all so thankful for what Captain Else did was giving us this logo and giving us an identity. We play for our individual flags, but to lift the spirit, bond the team together, we felt we needed a special logo. Incorporated the Celtic knot and the shield, the coat of arms, and of course, the flags of each of the countries that the players are represented. 
It means unity. It means strength. It means coming together as one. Quite simply, our new logo gives us something to play under. It's recognisable, certainly to us immediately, but hopefully to the rest of the international golf fans. No matter where we're from, no matter what our culture is, no matter what language we speak, we come together under this flag and we compete in the President's Cup as one unit. He'll be a great fit. He played on the PGA Tour for a very long time and you know he's a master champ and he's a, such a great guy. His knowledge of the game and his experience is going to be a huge attribute in, in knowing what we do well and being able to you know, assemble great pairings and put a good team together. Being captain of the international team at this President's Cup feels like full circle. Immelman arrived on the PGA Tour a promising young talent, and it was Charlotte, North Carolina, that catalyzed his career. One of my first PGA Tour events that I played was here in Charlotte at Quail Hollow. But it was three years later that he nearly captured his first title in Charlotte. There's your champion, Jim Furyk, in the playoff over Immelman. I think I made a big step in my career today, playing with the, the caliber of guys that I played with and stepping up to the plate and hanging in there. Two months later, Immelman broke through and became a winner on the PGA Tour. Oh my goodness! Yes! Trevor Immelman! <laughs> And he credited that victory to his experience at Quail Hollow. I was so close, and uh, I think I drew on that today. And in those prime years of his PGA Tour career, Immelman represented the international team in the President's Cup twice. How about that? Well, by far the hottest team on the course. And added to his President's Cup resume at the event's most recent edition, where he helped forge the international team's new identity. He has the experience of playing in the cup and seeing it from that side. He has the experience of being a vice captain. And I think he's a guy who will learn a lot from those experiences and use that to our advantage. Extremely humbling to be named captain of a team that I absolutely love an event that I absolutely love. They know that I've got their backs regardless and that they can go out there and just perform to the best of their ability. Good, thanks for coming out last night. Beyond his tenure in the team room, Immelman's attention to detail and accessibility to the players provides him a distinct benefit in his preparation. Trevor's analytical and he's a thinker and he's intelligent. One of the big advantages is he's out on tour still a lot with his role in television. He's young, he is very relatable to all the players out here and able to talk on their level and is very understanding of where the game is at. Oh, he's just showing off now, look at him. As of right now, I don't have... The more time we spend together, the more time we get to, to know each other and, and play under one shield. The more we can embrace that, I think, uh, you know, could be the, 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 the winning recipe for us. He gives you motivation. He has a plan. He's got a strategy. He's, he's on top of everything. And he's been under the pressure of the cup. I'm humbled by the opportunity and by the fact that these players wanted me to be their captain. We want these players to feel how special it is to make this team. Four players playing under a different pressure than you feel all season long. You have to dig deeper than other times. That's a drop the putt moment for Justin Thomas. Whatever it takes to get your team a point, you got to do it. It's going to be a clash of really great players, but also the players that are in really good form. Where else do you get that kind of emotion? We're all playing for a common goal drives it home for a crucial win. Our team is becoming more and more determined, and we'd like to have another crack at the Americans. 